Today, we are going to learn an easy way to preserve your sourdough starter. We've all had those times where something goes wrong. Either you forget to feed it for too long and it dies, or it grows mold. Stay tuned to find out how to save some of your starter forever in case anything should happen to yours. Cue that opening scene. Aloha, my friends, and welcome to another episode with Maui Craft Kitchen. My name is Don, and if you're new to the channel, here at MCK, we're all about making real food with real ingredients. If that sounds like your kind of cooking, then hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so that you can stay up to date on everything from MCK. Sourdough starter, the basis of so many foods that we all love. A hobby for many, for others, just a way to feed their family something a bit more natural. Whatever your reasoning is for using natural yeast, there can always be mishaps. With this method, fixing those mishaps will take about three days instead of three, possibly more weeks. Kick off the new year by preserving some of the past year. And let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Big mahalo to Rod the camera guy for his professional expertise. Now the first thing you're going to need is a sourdough starter. I'll leave a link above now in case you still need to make one of those. The second thing you're going to need to do is get your starter ready for use. I'll leave another link now to a video about how to do that. Once your starter is ready to use, you can proceed to this step. We're going to take this ready to use starter and pour it out onto a piece of parchment paper, spreading it into a very thin layer. Now we're going to leave this somewhere where it won't be bothered, like an off oven or a cabinet that you don't use too often, for three to six days or until it reaches a potato chip-like crispness. Once we've achieved a potato chip-like crispness, we're simply going to smash it to bits. Now you can store this however you prefer. I like to use these little jars because not only does it make a quick, easy gift, it is very transportable. A mishap has occurred and you need to use your dehydrated starter. How do we bring it back? Simple. All we did through that process was take out 100% of the water. So we're just going to treat this as we would flour in our daily feedings. So for every gram of this we have, we're going to need one gram of water to maintain our 100% hydration ratio. So here, I have one gram of dehydrated starter, six grams of water, and five grams of flour. The extra gram of water is to compensate for the one gram of dehydrated starter. I'm simply going to mix these together. Now just follow your normal daily feedings and this should come back to full strength in about three days. There you go. No more worrying about killing your sourdough starter. Save some for yourself, mail some to your family and friends and spread it like aloha. Custom shirt designs like this one are now available. Links are in the description below. As always, you can leave a donation through Venmo by searching at Maui Craft Kitchen. I can't thank you all enough for your support Many mahalas and much aloha.